Hey everyone, welcome to our second video of our Copilot Studio series for beginners. I'm Sean Keegan, and in episode one, we covered what Copilot Studio is and walked through the platform features. And if you missed that one, there's a link in the description below to a GitHub repository that has information on that session and all the sessions in this series. Let me show you what we're making. Okay, here is our conference room assistant. This is an agent that I built that's going to help me pick the right conference room based on some requirements that I have. Now, don't be intimidated by the word agent. All it means is an AI assistant that has knowledge and abilities, and we're gonna build it quickly and easily using natural language. Let's say hello. And it's going to ask how it can help. And I'm going to say, I need a conference room for 10 people with a TV. And it's going to give back some recommendations based on what I asked. It's also going to give some instructions for if I wanted to go ahead and book that room. And let's say I want to learn about international rooms. I actually set up some guide rails so that it answers this in, the, in a specific way. Let's say I'm in the United Kingdom and it says we do not have information about international offices. So this is working exactly how we like. Pretty neat, right? We have an agent that understands context, makes recommendations, and knows its boundaries. And the best part, we were able to build this without any sort of code, just using natural language. All right, here I am in the home page of Copilot Studio. And you can see right off the bat, it tells us to describe your agent to create it. So we could just go ahead and start typing in this text box if we wanted to, or we can get started by clicking the create button and that will allow us to create a new agent from scratch. Once we do this, it'll actually pull up a few different agent templates. So website Q&A, voice, safe travels, but we wanna create our own agent from scratch. So we're gonna click the new agent button. This pulls up an opportunity to start building our agent just by describing it in natural words. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a description of what I want this agent to do. Essentially, we're trying to build this conference room booking assistant for Contoso. It should be able to answer questions based on capacity, location, TV sizes, and so forth. I'll push enter. And then we get this message saying that our agent is now set up. It's ready to help employees and it suggests a name contoso room assistant or conference room assistant and now we have the makings of our conference room assistant it comes up with some pre-populated prompts that it might be helpful for your users in this case i'll click which rooms have tvs larger than 60 inches and i'm going to click send and it's actually going to give us some information and make it seem like it's working in a fully fledged agent and in the way it is but it's just gonna make up this data based on stuff that it sees from online. You can even see there, it says that AI generated content may not be accurate. So this is just random data. It's not that the agent isn't working, we just haven't given it a source of truth or information for it to base its answers off of. So that's the next step. We have a knowledge document. Let's say this Word doc called Contoso Conference Rooms this is what would be sent to all new employees or anybody trying to book or find conference rooms. It has all the information they would need, but it's not always easy to find these documents. People don't know where to search. They don't wanna to have to do all the research themselves. So that's where our agent is going to come into play. It's gonna be able to use this information and then help guide our users along as a smart assistant for booking conference rooms. You can see it has all the information one would want. It even has the info on how to book a room. So once we equip our agent with the knowledge in this doc, it'll be much smarter and able to help our employees. So the next step is to actually give this information to our agent, but first let's create it and we'll go ahead and click the create button in the top right. Once it's done creating, you can see it already has some instructions that were generated automatically based on the prompt that we gave it initially but now we're gonna go ahead and add knowledge. And this means we're going to add data to inform and improve our agent. And we're gonna bring in that Word doc that has the information on the conference rooms. So I'll click add knowledge, and this is where I'll, bra I'll drag in the document that has all the info we showed before. And I'll click add to agent. Once we get that check mark that says ready, it means our agent is ready to answer questions equipped with new knowledge from the knowledge source that we just added. 
So let's go ahead and test it out. In the right side of Copilot Studio, we have this area where we can test our agent. And let's ask a similar question that we asked before. Let's say which room has the largest TV? You can see that it's actually reviewing that document now. So it's going through that, seeing which room has the largest TV. And it should give me back that information. Awesome, that's exactly what we get. It tells us that conference room 5A has the largest TV at 120 20 inches. It tells us where it's located and asks if we want help booking the room. If I scroll back over to our document, we can see that room 5A does actually have the largest projector. So our agent was able to make that deduction on which room is the best. Let's go back to overview and just see some of the other things that we can change. Like I said before, we, we want orchestration on so that we can use generative AI to help our agents' responses. If I wanna change the model, this is where I can do it. I can use the newest or experimental models if I want, but I'll stick with the default for this video. And so we're not gonna change anything here, but I just wanted you to see the kind of things that you can control in Copilot Studio. Again, without having to dive into the code or getting to the underlying logic of the agent itself. The next thing we're gonna talk about are topics, but before we jump in on that, Let's recap what we learned about knowledge, and then we'll get an intro to topics. Okay, so the knowledge source handles general questions really well, but sometimes you need a little more control. Let's say a user asks our agent about international rooms. We want a specific conversation flow. Let's ask where they're located, and then give them the right answer based on that. And that's what topics are for. Knowledge gives you flexibility, topics give you structure. Let's add one now. To get started adding a topic, let's go up to the top and pick the topics button. And this is going to bring up the default topics that every agent will have to start. So you have goodbye, greeting, start over, thank you. Let's take a look at the greeting topic. Now here you can see kicks off the agent using this, this workflow. So for the greeting topic, whenever there's a query about something saying hello or good morning, we want the message to say, we want the agent to say, hello, how can I help you today? and then end all topics. Just a standard greeting workflow. Let's go back, and now we're going to add our own topic. This is where we're gonna add that one for international rooms. So let's click add topic, and we wanna describe it from a description. We don't wanna to have to create the, the flow and everything on our own, so let's copy and paste in exactly how I want the agent to behave for this topic. So we're gonna tell it if anything is asked about international rooms, we want the agent to say that they only have information on the Redmond Washington office, but here are some other things that you can do like getting in touch with support. So we'll click create. And again, it starts handling all this on its own. I don't have to create any sort of logic. I don't have to create the workflow. Based on the description I gave Copilot, I have a fully fleshed out conversational logic based on the topic of international rooms. So we can see here the trigger, which is going to kick off the agent working through this topic flow, is anything asking about international rooms. And then when that happens, we want the agent to ask the question, which country is the office located in with a series of multiple choice options. And then you can see the agent handles different workflows. So if the answer, if the user gives the answer of the United States, we want to say this specific message that we only have information on the Redmond Washington office. And on the other side of things, if they pick any other option other than the United States, say that we do not have information about international offices. If I wanted to edit it, you could come over here in the edit with Copilot button, but this is pretty good for our first pass at this agent. So let's go ahead and use it. I'll click the save button in the top right. So now this topic is established for our agent. We get the notification that topic was saved. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Let's say, show me international rooms. And we can see we get exactly what we expect. Now in our activity map, we see that the topic for international rooms was triggered. We can see the phrases that it thinks about to use. And now in the test our agent pane, we can see it asking for the user to select the country the office is located. Let's click United Kingdom, and it gives us that message that we wanted that says it does not have any information about international offices. So this is working exactly as expected. 
and we didn't even have to do any sort of code. We have a working topic. Now we're starting to see the power of Copilot Studio. You've got the AI handling open-ended stuff through knowledge and structured workflows through topics. The best of both worlds. Now let's test everything together and see how it all works. Let's go ahead and publish our agent so that our teammates have access to the same conference room booker assistant. I'll come up here to the top right and click the publish button. This is going to make it available in the channels that we decide to publish to. So we'll click publish again. And once this is done, we get the notification that it was successfully published. And now we have to decide exactly where we want the agent to be available. So come up top to the channels button now. And you can see here are all the places just out of the box that it suggests that we can publish our agent to. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and publish our conference room assistant to Teams. So I'll click Teams in Microsoft 365 Copilot, and I'm gonna make the agent available in Microsoft 365 Copilot, and then click Add Channel. Once this is done, we get the notification that the channel was added. And now I'm gonna click this little button that just says See Agent in Teams. This is gonna pull up Microsoft Teams with a modal that allows me to add the conference room assistant directly into Teams. I'll click Add. And I'll get this notification that I've added it successfully. How do I wanna use this app? Let's just go ahead and open it directly right in Teams. And now we can test it out. Now it's live in Teams. I can ask it the same questions that I was asking before. I'll get the same answers. So I'll just ask which room is the best for six people. Oh, and okay, this actually triggered the hello response. So I'm just gonna ask the same question again. In this case, just like we expect, we get information from the agent about which room would be the best for six people. We get information on how to book it. And let's go ahead and ask the next question that we set up for topics about international rooms. It's going to ask me that question about which country I'm located in. In this case, let's pick the United States. And it responds telling us that it only has information for the Redmond, Washington office. So our conference room assistant works as expected. I'm able to use it directly in Teams, which is, which is the channel that I published it to. And the great thing here is now that it's published, all my teammates can also use the conference room assistant now that it is live and published. And it has the knowledge source that we added in addition to the conversational workflow in the international room topic. Let's just briefly go back to Copilot Studio and take a quick look at the other channels that you could go ahead and publish your agent to. And we'll probably look at some of these in future videos. All right, that's it. In just a few minutes, you built an AI agent that answers questions from a knowledge document, makes intelligent recommendations, handles structured workflows with topics, and knows when to escalate or redirect. These are the core building blocks of Copilot Studio. In the next episode, we're going to take the same agent, build on it, and have it add email capabilities. So when someone asks about a room, the agent will send them the booking details directly. Way more useful. Check out the link in the description below to head to the GitHub repo with more information, including the conference room document and links to Copilot Studio. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode where we make this agent send emails. Now go build something.